I'd like to do a demo video on this quite cool advanced solar attic fan that I selected for my boathouse, my boat garage. It's garage in here, as you can see, I keep motorcycles and all types of yard equipment and power washers and everything in here, but also keep my boat in here. And it's a 25 by 25 foot building. And this is a 30 watt version. They have a 40 watt version also, but you can see that it's running right now and it's going pretty fast. And uh, that's because the sun is fully out. Now, if you take a close look at it, you'll see that there's two wires connected. The one, the big wire, is the one that's coming in from the solar panel outside. And the smaller wire, if you follow it around, it go, it can be plugged in there, in that plug. And that's actually an AC-DC inverter that allows this particular fan to run either on AC or it can run off of the uh, solar panel. And uh, this time of the day, the heat of the day, it runs pretty close to the same speed off of either one. <clears throat> the uh, gable vent that I selected there was one that is listed as an additional purchase on the Home Depot website. And uh, it's a 20 by 20, but the inside dimensions, the hole you have to cut out for it is actually 16 and a half by 16 and a half. And uh, these gable uh, joists here, they're on 20 inch centers. So you can see that I did some framing up in there and then the distance between the attachments for the fan, those little attachments you see right there, those attachments, they're 15 and a half inches apart from each other. So you can see that I had to come back and uh, put some cleats on there that are screwed in so that I could attach the fan inside there. Now you can hear it kicking up a little higher. That's because the uh, sun just came up. So now we'll go outside here. I'll let you take a look outside here and this this garage is built kind of on a little hill here and uh, you can see right there is the gable vent that I installed and right there is the solar panel that comes with it and the solar panel is it's suitable to mount either inside the gable like that or you can actually mount it on the roof but right there was actually a good spot in this backyard to catch the sun and then you can set it at a 45 degree angle or you can set it at a 90 degree angle uh, depending on what you're trying to accomplish or you can actually bolt it flush to, uh, flush to the wall itself and inside there you can kind of get an idea of the attachment you can rotate it to whatever gets the best sun but this is for this time of year it's uh early spring this is about the best place to have it and the best way to have it mounted to catch all the sun it can and you can see that it's moving a lot of air right now it's about as about the same amount that it moves if you plug it into 110. <clears throat> my plan for this will be to strictly use it on the solar. Uh, my big concern with this garage here is that it not get too hot. Uh, this is supposed to keep your building or your attic uh, within about 10 degrees of the outside temperature. Uh, I guess that depends on how much air it's moving and then you can see in this building here, I've actually got doors on each end, but I've also got a ridge vent that runs the whole length of the building. So that's it. Uh, that's the quite cool advanced solar attic fan, 30 watt version. One more look out here at the vent. You see how that's kind of rigged up if you decide to do it. It works real well. It's uh, do-it-yourself project that most people should be able to do and I appreciate your time. Thank you.